sorry, what did I call? Yes, what does the outreach do? The outreach is just the legal services, counseling, and advocacy. Okay. Um, it's just the, uh, it is just? Yes, they don't do shelter at that location. I'm just trying to establish red flags. Okay. Um, so they don't do shelter. It's just. Right. Okay. Okay, let's see how it goes with the shelter. Talking to you first, and then I can see how it goes um, with the outreach. Okay, I like shelter. You're seeking shelter? Yes. Okay. And what is the reason you're seeking shelter at the moment? I'm fleeing abuse that the government's enlisted in. And are you currently in the Dallas area? Yes. Yeah, it's been curious. No place has had it for like five, six years. Yeah, so we're giving out resources to other shelters in the area. You're giving out resources? Correct. Oh, okay. So you're not going to follow by the um, protocol on the webpage? Just since you're full, you're denying all other services? And telling women to go somewhere else? For shelter, yes. Okay, so let's see... Um, for the outreach, can I just come in and talk to a social worker? Maybe she can help me find shelter placement. Yes. Yeah, so what we can do is schedule. I'd like to just come in. There's an open web um, location. i just like to come in and not schedule it. Yes. Yeah, so you would have to call before you come in. Why do you, are you, well, you wanted to control my entrance? I'm sorry. Did you want to control my entrance? Then why would I need to call? Why can't I just come in and get help to flee? Okay, it's a process that we have to follow to ensure everybody's safety. To ensure everyone's safety? Or are you trying to ensure that someone doesn't get services? Conspiracy to violate rights is a felony charge. So as he says, you have an outreach location, but you want to control the my entrance to the location? Did I say I wanted to control that? I don't understand why people are unprofessional and start arguments all the time when they don't make sense? If it says, says you have an outreach location, why do you want me to call before I come? Because when I call before I come, the services aren't never, I never get them and people are rude. Okay, I'm not sure what uh, shelter you're calling for, but... You don't understand what shelter I'm calling for and I call this one? No, when you said that we're rude, I'm trying to figure out... Yes, yeah, so I came in the past and all shelters lie and slander me and scheme to keep me from getting services, all of them. So I came in, they had Genesis had been playing games years. So they finally told me to come in and was, they, she claimed, I think her name was Ruth. She said I was recording and I didn't. I did not record her at all. So I went to the police to report all these locations scheming to keep me from services and the conspiracy, which is a felony charge. So I've been trying to get in a domestic violence location years, five plus years and have not been able to. But what was mysterious that I left to report my abuser in Texarkana when at the when this first began, uh, I was in Texarkana domestic violence permit uh, prevention. So I left to go report my abuser and came back and my stuff was outside in the box and they had the gate locked and closed and wouldn't let me in. They would not tell me why they did that while I was gone. So that shows that my abuser, along with his conspirators, are keeping me from uh, services to flee the abuse. I'm tired of living like this. So I'm trying to incriminate people that chose to take bribes or whatever that they're doing to keep me in this substantial level of abuse. If I can't purchase food and purchase it um, and um, purchase po uh, food or um, use transit in peace, that's pretty serious. So yesterday, I believe he set up an assault when they were a multiple party scheme to deprive me of transit. He said uh, multiple different assaults. So I'd like to come in. Okay, so like I said, we would have to schedule you so that we're able to... No, I'll try to go in and see what happens because when you schedule me, you schedule me real far off. I need to flee today and not next week or next month. So as far as shelter, that's what we do. We provide you with resources so you're able to get to a shelter. I'm not being heard. I'd like to come in. Coming in, it's not gonna, we're not going to be able to find shelter right away like that. 
I think that something's mysterious with these calls and spoofing calls I thought was federal charges for someone to go out their way to spoof calls at hotels and multiple different locations I'm at. My abuser. I'm not sure what kind of charges those would carry to repeatedly do that year after year, including my own devices. I'm trying to establish a pattern of everywhere I'm calling and scheming the best they can to keep me from getting help to flee abuse. The only concern is, are they doing it in a manner that other parties won't suspect that it's intentional? So each time I'm calling a location, they're doing everything they can to keep me in my crisis. So the time is now 5.58, but I have in the morning, but I have been doing this years to get nowhere. So you're saying that if I come in in person, she would refuse the social worker that helped women flee abuse and you're full or if it would be unwilling to help me get shelter? So like I said, when we schedule you for outreach, it's for counseling, advocacy. It didn't say that it had to be scheduled online. You can have schedule online. You would have to call. It didn't say that you had to schedule anything online. I'm not quite sure why I would have to schedule a week or a month to flee abuse and I need to flee it today. So like this, this has been a repeated pattern. I don't think we're on different pages. I'm just trying to incriminate people. If I'm fleeing today, why would they require me to schedule a week or a month out like they have required? No. That's suspicious. For, if you're fleeing domestic violence, this line that you called provide you with resources to call other shelters that might be able to have availability right away. Outreach office only assists with legal services, advocacy, and counseling for women that already have experienced domestic violence or just requiring assistance. Okay, so let me make sure I understand. So you're full. So you're full. You don't give hotel vouchers anymore. So you're full and you just leave the lady. I'm just no place gives the hotel vouchers anymore. They all stop that I'm in my crisis. But so a lady's in abuse and you're full. So you just tell her to go somewhere else for five plus years. There's nothing I could do if our shelter is full. I think that maybe something I don't think I think there's misconduct and there's terminations and uh, all kind of things that need to happen because it doesn't make sense if you're full to just leave someone in a crisis for all these years. That's mysterious. It's red flags. If you're full, then the caseworker should sit down and help a person get in a safe environment and just leave them in it to fend for themselves year after year. I don't know what kind of charges it is to hijack businesses over and over again for criminal activity. And if these people are identity thieves and going through all this amazing uh, corruption, what does that put us as a country to repeatedly have armies full of people conspire with their corruption and criminal activity over and over again? So that means hotels, restaurants, transit, armies full of people are enlisted in crimes. So I'm just trying to incriminate people because this has been on, going on long enough. So you're saying that I have to schedule, I have to schedule to flee from my life right now. I have to schedule an appointment to do that. Okay. I just repeated myself and I said for shelter, we do not schedule. That outreach office is for legal services, counseling, and advocacy. Okay, so I just want to get clarity. So the outreach, if you're full, refuses to get on the phone and uh, advocate for someone to get a safe environment. That's how domestic violence locations are today. They will not. They refuse to advocate for the woman and, and get her shelter, period. Even though on uh, multiple different websites, it says emergency shelter. If you're full, you refuse to place the woman in a safe environment with the, uh, uh, being a domestic violence organization. I just want clarity. So if you're full, you leave the woman stuck in her abuse and give her resources to call on her own? Is that the process? We're giving out resources to shelters. To call on her? I'm just trying to get clarity. Instead of advocating for the lady to get in her place or in a safe environment, the shelter leaves her in it because you're full five plus years and has her call on her own. That's your policy? I'm just trying to incriminate people. So if you're full, 
You just want to give me resources. I cannot speak with a social worker to advocate for me and uh, place me in a safe environment. Call around with me, advocate for me, support me, love me, give me compassion and the extreme amount of abuse that armies full of people are enlisted in. I would like to have a social worker to advocate for me. Is that possible? Thank you for safety planning. So if we're trying to get you out of a situation, we'll schedule you with an advocate that they're able to assist you with safety planning. Okay, in your um, with the way that you want to do it, let's see what, how long the appointment appointment will be. So you're saying that I can't come in in person, period. It can't be done until you schedule me. I just can't come in on my own and get information and uh, get help. Is that what you're saying? You can come into the outreach office. That's what. I, okay, I'll go. Just come in. Okay, and see what you guys come up with then. Um, can I give you my information? What what do I do that Ruth lied on me and said I was recording her when I wasn't? That then that's a red flag that someone set up Ruth to, uh, to deny services, but they still haven't been held accountable. I called the police and told them all these domestic. I went to the police and told them all these domestic violence organizations were scheming to keep me from services, all of them, but they never investigated it. And you said who told you that? Ruth said that I was recording her uh, the interaction with her inside the building, but I wasn't. Um, it was a while back. I went to the police and reported it because I wasn't recording her. I told the police if he, she um, assumed that I was recording her and she should not have known any, anything about my experience that someone set her up to say that to keep me from getting services. And doing that in the conspiracy is a felony charge. So I've been trapped in abuse five plus years going through. If you can't, like I said, use transit in peace or by purchase food, that's extreme. And just left in it to sit with no assistance. Okay, so I can take your information and put you in the system because I cannot find you with no, the it's phone pollution. number. So oh, I'm it's not tough. sure if you have a different phone number if you, you said you've been here before. Okay, so are you, are you refusing to look up my name and see what's in the system? Because I don't want and them to I scheme again. I, I, was going to take I don't know why people start arguments, ma'am tormenting them, someone oppressing them, and um, do uh, all these intimidating them, trying the free ride of services and a conspiracy is a felony charge. So using torment, oppression over and over again for someone having the, uh, uh, the privilege of services in this country, I thought was a felony. Everywhere I turn, oppression and mistreatment in the free ride of services. That's criminal in a conspiracy. So what were you asking, ma'am? I said that I wanted to come in and I asked you if you can look up my information to see what's in the system. And you started an argument to deflect on that. So if I came in and I can't use okay, transit, so, so I'd have to book a lift. Information and I can pass it on to my supervisor. Unfortunately, I have to keep my lines open. So can I start off with your first name? Oh, so you're disregarding my value. That's a form of gaslighting. I experienced this on multiple different calls. They disregard me and say that they have to keep their lines open for other people they deem as important because I don't have importance. That's a red flag, a narcissist or abusers control in an army full of environments. When I'm trying to assist you. You're gaslighting me, ma'am. I have not. We're deflecting on the fact that I asked you to look up my information in case, in case they scam. You're not you're not alarmed that a roost or whoever took bribes to keep me from services. You're not alarmed that I've been robbed of all domestic violence assistance and down to even um, the extreme of purchasing food and water and using transit. That doesn't alarm you. Instead, you choose with your power instead of being compassionate like your website says that you are supposed to be. You're being condescending and abusive and then blaming me for you disregarding my experience. So I did again try to give you my information in case there are schemes when I come in again. And you are not refusing. You're refusing to take it. So on the line, I just asked you for your information. I would like you to look in the system now. Are you refusing to look in the system now to see what you have in it? Okay. How do you want me to look you up when I'm just asking for your first and last name? And then you're saying that we're trying to see you. Okay. I thought that you said you were going to get my information and have someone call me back. Starting conflict and being abusive on each call and everywhere I'm at is psychologically abusive. You said that you were going to get my information and have someone call me back. I was trying to get clarity right now today while we're on the phone. Okay. So if you, can you listen to my 
listen to me. I'm trying to assist you. I'm trying. I'm having raised my voice. I'm trying to. Be Why would you? You that would be a termination to raise your voice with someone for someone trying to get abused. I mean, help with abuse. I have not done that, man. Right, but if you do, you could possibly lose your job. Why would you even desire to raise your voice for uh, because a woman is trying to flee abuse? Why would you even need to say that? That's a form of intimidation and bullying. I don't recall telling you I didn't want to provide it. I just wanted you to get, look up my information and not have someone call me back. Because they don't. Do. I've been asking for your personal okay, I can give it to you. I, I, there's just so many disconnects all over the place. Okay. And if it's intentional in a conspiracy for torment, like I said, I thought that was a felony. I'm ready to give you my name. Okay. You just said that you were trying to look me up in the system? I just gave you a different number and you said you were trying to look me up in the system and then you said this is the number that we should call. Could you repeat the number again, please? You want me to repeat the number again? Okay. Okay, you looked at you looked up my information. First you said that you were going to look up my information. Then when I stopped doing something, you changed it to I have you call them back. Have them call you back. Then I gave you my information again. You had to repeat my number multiple different times. Then you said you're going to look it up again. And then you're directing me to have someone call me back. So do you want assistance or not? I want, I need that the feds need to interrupt us. I will never get it until someone intervenes. If it hasn't happened in five plus years, cons and schemes, all on every phone that I'm using. By government officials abusing power, monitoring me illegally, enlisting all, an army full of civilians and charges with them. Ma'am, I thought you were an advocate and I'm not able to tell you about my abuse on the emergency crisis hotline. I'm not an advocate. Unfortunately, I'm not a counselor. Okay, what are you doing on this emergency crisis hotline? What is your position? How and you or you had to take other calls during my safety planning. So what I'm, gonna do I'm is telling I'm gonna you about. For you over if you'd like, the line. So you're denying me services on this emergency crisis hotline that you give other women fleeing I'm abuse. Right now, I'm not able to help you at this time. You can leave a message if you'd like to the senior director. I think it it hasn't happened in all these years. I think the feds. Are you there? You hung up, so I couldn't get services. I'm still here. Okay, so I'll just come in. I'll just come in so people can rack up charges that way. Because I know I'm calling scammers. So if I go in in person, then it shows that someone is conspiring with these organizations to keep me from services. Hopefully then they'll get charges. I'm just trying to incriminate people. This has happened years, ma'am. All places I call, scheme, and deny services, start arguments, and mistreat me for wanting services. And lie and won't follow protocol on crisis hotlines. Do you, are you willing to give me your name? It's Adriana. Okay. Thank you. So we can't follow the protocol period on the crisis hotline. You can't give me direction, information on my rights. You just have to protect the abuser year after year, but he's not controlling my calls. It has a protocol that you're supposed to follow on the crisis hotline and you follow none of it. You didn't give me resources. You're rushing me off the phone, covering for my abuser again. And you keep talking over me and you keep talking about you're You're slandering me to validate your bad behavior that's gaslighting ma'am you're trying to hang up without giving me services and then you're gaslighting me we've been on the phone 18 19 minutes and the only thing i believe you were trying to do is convince other people you ever tried to help okay that's fine um the calls are being recorded so they just go ahead and listen to the calls and like i said if you but you're not following protocol i've been on the line 20 minutes with you to get nowhere you say you got it took you forever to get my number. So you then you like, got it and said someone would have to call back. I need to speak with the supervisors because you're denying me the emergency crisis hotline resources and information. You're not doing it. So on all emergency crisis hotlines, I'm violated and they will not follow protocol, period. You have done absolutely nothing for me on the 20 minutes I've been on the front line with you.
to a voicemail. It happens when the calls are spoofed. This is like a horror movie. She sent me the roof. Able to your phone calls, please leave. So since my calls are being controlled by scammers, they network me back to problems every single time. So it didn't take, you know, I know this is an incredible story, but you have to realize that this is years of playing these same games. Years of it. So it does not take a rocket scientist if they every place you're sch uh, they're scheming to keep you from services year after year to know that something is wrong with these calls. That's why I record them.